Hi, this is Jason from Horrific Nightmares, and today I'm going to be doing another new segment called Forgotten Fridays. This is where I'm going to be taking a film from my collection that I do believe has been overlooked or really hasn't gotten the love that it deserved. Now, if you've been watching my Christmas haul, you'll notice that one of the movies that I picked up was Cut. Now, I used to have this on VHS years ago. Unfortunately, um, like a moron, I actually sold my VHS collection probably eh, maybe seven or eight years ago, eh, somewhere along that line. Maybe, maybe not that long ago. I can't remember. Anyway, I did used to have this on VHS and was quite fond of the movie. So what I did was I put it on my want list for, you know, to transfer over to DVD. And it, for some reason, I always forgot about it and just never really looked into it. And um, my friend, Andrew Ballina, was actually talking about a lot of the Australian horror films that he has, because this is an Australian horror film. And this actually made his list. So I was like, you know what? My next opportunity, I'm going to pick that up. And I did. Now, what I was going to do is tell you how much it was on um, Amazon, and I still am, but unfortunately, it is no longer available. Apparently, I got the last one. It was $9.99. Um, this is a Trimark video, um, the release of it. Now, I did see my friend, the All-Nighter. He did pick it up recently, and his was the Lionsgate version, which has uh, Cut and the St. Francisville Experiment, I believe. So, what I did was I took the liberty of looking on eBay, and it is still fairly cheap. Um, this is a very high recommendation from me. Now, Cut is a 2000 film, which runs approximately 82 minutes, and is directed by Kimball Rendall. Now, he was responsible for Bait 3D, which is about sharks in a grocery store. Now, I know this sounds kind of silly, but if you actually watch the movie, it's it kind of makes sense, which is odd for me to say. But he didn't do anything for quite a while after that, and he just um, did Guardians of the Temple. Now, that's a movie that I first saw my friend Matt from You and Your Horror Movies. He had a copy of it, and he actually liked it. So I recorded it on... Um, off of cable, and it's on my DVR now, ready to watch. But now, Cut is a kind of like a modern slasher. Um, basically, the plot synopsis is they were making a slasher film, and the, um, the guy who plays the killer ends up killing the director, who is played by Kylie Minogue. She doesn't have a very large role in this, but, you know, it's still, you know, she still makes quite an impression. Uh, fast forward years later, I do believe they tried to make it uh, one other time, and some of the people died, so the film is supposedly cursed. Fast forward to, I believe, 15 years later, and you have a group of uh, film students who now want to finish this film. Now, um, the group of students uh, try to get who's left out of the original cast, which happens to be Molly Ringwald, and they attempt to make the film, and they start getting picked off one by one. Now, this film is very similar to um, The Hills Run Red, uh, Midnight Movie, you know, kind of movies like that. This has a little bit more of a supernatural flair to it, but it is a lot of fun and a very, very good slasher. Now, as I was saying, this actually stars Molly Ringwald um, as Vanessa Turnbill. She, of course, was in Sixteen Candles, The Breakfast Club, uh, Pretty in Pink. She was actually, um, when I was looking up her resume, was in Teaching Mrs. Tingle, which is one I just picked up recently. That was also from my VHS collection that I'm glad I finally got on DVD. 
and was in another horror film called Office Killer, which I saw, I think, about a year ago, year and a half ago, and I really, really enjoyed it. This also stars Jessica Napier as Raffi Carruthers. Now, she is the director for the third time of the group of young people who are trying to remake this film. Uh, she had a bit part in Ghost Rider. That was really all I could find. Um, she did do some Australian television. And finally, uh, the other big name is Kylie Minogue, who plays Hilary Jacobs, who was actually the first director of the film. Now, she was actually in San Andreas, which I had forgotten completely that she was in that. And she was also in a movie that has gotten mixed reviews. Um, it's, it's been at my library, and I've had it in my hands a few times, but never bothered to run it. A film called uh, Holy Motors. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be sci-fi, horror. It's supposed to be kind of a weird, weird film. But anyway. Now, some interesting things on the film. Uh, the name of the villain in this movie is called Scarman. I do believe they only say it once, if I'm not mistaken. And the, the name of the feature that they are trying to make is called Hot-Blooded. Um, which I think is pretty cool. You know, they're kind of trying to do a, kind of like a throwback 80s slasher. But um, this is a really, really fun movie, and it's really a shame that it's gotten forgotten after all these years. Most people have never heard of it. Um, like I said, I looked it up on eBay, and it's going for, you know, $9, $10. It's not out of hand yet. It is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's definitely out of print. Uh, Trimark went out a long time ago, and um, I guess Lionsgate bought this and put it on a double bill with the St. Francisville experiment, so, which I do believe is out of print as well. But definitely, if you can find a copy of this, check it out. It is a fantastic film. I'm going to give this one an 8. 8 is my rating. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you guys can think of anything that has been forgotten or dismissed or overlooked, um, definitely let me know. Uh, I have a few planned out for Forgotten Fridays, but um, you know, suggestions are always welcome. And if you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.